Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to this video series. In our previous episode, we have designed a whole uh, header and a footer. And in this video, let's start designing the home page. Okay, first let's insert a one column section. This will be the our header header section. Okay, and here in this style, let's insert background slider. Here, this is background slider. So, okay. And middle library, I have uploaded few images. Yeah, we can use these images. As a slide show for the background. Background position, center, center, background size, cover. Can burns effect, yes. Okay. Then padding about 150 at the top, 150 at the bottom. Okay, and here since we are uh, we are going to only have one column, so we do not need last columns. About 700 is fine. Here like this. Then here let's go to this column. Oh, before. Uh, we go to this column. Let's go to this section setting style and let's add few background overlay background overlay color here let's add mm. Yeah Okay Now we can go to this column setting Advanced padding about uh, 80 okay Putting a 180 and here I forgot to add the background color here let's set background color white or maybe we can reduce the opacity a little okay so walk Come to salon or blah 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 or company name. Then here we can try increasing the font size a little. Forty. Oh, sixty. then then let's duplicate this then let's just do something like his four and font size about 20 color This will be our address. Import Manipur, India, seven hundred and zero one, and duplicate this. Phone number. Okay. 
then stack okay okay advance positioning absolute and vertical orientation and horizontal orientation can increase the size a little here padding and the color of course white secondary color black okay welcome to salon blah 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 yeah come back to this border uh, so here in this column and let's set border radius a little or about 15 okay something like this okay Okay, maybe we can increase the padding a little here for desktop. Let's increase the padding about 250 and 250. Okay, like this. It looks better. Yeah, it looks better on desktop. For the mobile, let's see how it looks on mobile. Okay, the padding is too much for mobile. <laughs> padding about 50, 50 to the bottom. <laughs> this big on the slider is not so improperly on mobile. Okay, at the same time, let's uh, reduce this font size for the heading. So about 40 or 30. And come back here to this column. Advance background here is mm, sorry here okay the bedding twelve fifty fine left fifteen bottom fifty uh, yeah left right fifteen something like this mm, okay and let's go back to this section if so then we can increase this padding a little or about 100 100 at the bottom oh like this 
Okay. And for this icon positioning here horizontal zero. Okay. Minus three. Minus ten. Okay. Maybe something we can also make this the full white. I mean, full screen view height here by increasing the padding for this section by increasing the padding for example 200 200 yeah if so then we will be able to display this slider uh, pull view height desktop fine there is not much to change here okay uh, let me yeah. okay if you do not like this icon you can just remove it this, this icon is just a placement for positioning layout design you can change any icon or you can even insert uh, your own custom logos for example your website logo you can insert it here instead of um, this uh, hand feature icon okay the next is the services here Let's insert to column section number 158 up top, 158 at the bottom. Okay. Highs four. what we do and then our services text editor okay then image box Okay, image white, 
hundred percent okay the content Bidding left, uh, run and left about twenty, bottom fifty, twenty. Okay. Is this not going to work? I, wh I what I want I'm going to do is to add background color, but when I add background color without adding the padding on the left and right, and the text content isn't going to be messy. So what we can do either either. We add custom CSS or we're going to insert inner column section. So yeah, border. Yeah. Here this lap padding is a little messy. So let's do this. What we can do, let's remove this padding from the left. Okay. ID. So let's call self. Go to custom CSS. Hashtag self. B. Let's set padding. Padding about zero pixel to the top, and about twenty pixel to the left, left and right. Zero pixel to the bottom, and twenty pixel to the right. Okay. Yeah, now it uh, now it's okay. Okay, and yeah, go back to the border, and we can adjust this color or opacity of this box shadow. can also in uh, adjust border radius 15 like this okay can copy this paste it here mm, duplicate Okay, one thing, yeah, here, since the image, here, coloring, and in the 
weapons give a CSS ID coloring for example go to custom CSS and change this CSS ID coloring okay now if we have the padding same here here cutting for example since the image go to advance give a CSS ID cutting custom CSS cutting now we have the padding here to the left and right okay here what we can do we can adjust this column column height we can also here add a little margin at a top margin about 40 okay what do we do our services here okay and Add bedding to the right about 150 or maybe 200. Okay, make this text text white shorter. Uh, okay, narrower. Okay, our services. or what we can do we can add here go to column setting here advance we can add margin to the right about 40 like this margin about 48 at all okay then make this column here top negative margin about 100 Okay. And if you want to uh, make it uh, more interactive, you can go to the motion effects here, here, and yeah, go to this widgets advanced motion effects here we have scrolling effects and we have mouse effects mouse mouse track 3D till uh, in trans animation uh, scrolling effects are good too horizontal scroll Yeah. 
yes you can see here the animation yeah you can add such high scrolling effects it, uh, if you want to make it more interactive you can add this one such effects here you can same here motion effects scrolling effects but vertical scroll yeah anyway adding says uh, scrolling effects vertical or horizontal effects uh, remember uh, scrolling effects looks our website more interactive and this is a good way uh, this feature is uh, comes with element of pro and if you want to have this feature with element of free uh, you, we can uh, try with other free add-on plugins uh, many of the add-on element add-on plugins have also have this uh, motion effects scrolling effects uh, okay that's it for this video we have designed two sections of the home page in this video services and this hero section this hero section is very simple one background uh, can branch effect slider and simple our address okay yeah our company name address phone number this is simple call to action for yeah um, displaying our address and the phone number yeah. okay and yeah we almost forgot something let's see how it looks on mobile this second section tablet layout make this 100 percent and 100 percent okay and here in this column setting there is padding to the right remove this for tablet and we can add padding a little to the left about 40 right about 40 here yeah same here for this column Okay, we can remove this uh, negative padding and let's add about 40 padding to the left, 40 to the right. Yeah, we are adding uh, too much uh, padding in the tablet mode because here we are displaying these columns is yes, 100% wide, so lo we have lots of space. So, yeah, we can display them. Yes, it's stack, stacking as we see on mobile here. We need to we need them to stack like this on mobile too. Yeah, as yes, you can see here, here you can remove this padding on mobile. On tablet, it is fine. Okay. Here padding. We can remove this building on mobile and add about only 10 or 15 to on mobile, 15 to the left, 15 to the right. Same for this column. Remove the 
heading and I want 15 to the left, 15 to the right. Okay. Yeah, margins and these paddings makes our website looks better, more interactive, uh, and more intuitive, beautiful, and pleasing to the eye. But uh, making it responsive for mobiles, that's little trouble. Yeah, that's not much trouble. Uh, much trouble, but we have to adjust the paddings and uh, margins to make it more responsive for mobile screens that's all okay thanks for watching this video and see you in the next episode